It's time for Tech Talk with Spiky Kobe Kuma, and we are going straight to the strip club. Oh, wow. Yes. That was very sharp. We're going to the strip club. Yes, which uh -huh. is a very bad thing for kids under age. Okay. And the metaverse, as we have come to anticipate, is going to be taking us from the real world uh -huh. into the virtual world. And it seems like something that's supposed to be exciting for yeah. everyone. But some researchers have found out that children are being exposed to stuff like strip clubs, like you said. Mm -hmm. Now, that's very worrying. That's very dangerous because a lot of the times technology advances faster than parents. Yeah. And parents always have to be playing catch up. Yeah. These kids, because they have they have exposure to these devices and these technologies, know exactly where to go around these things. And kids are finding themselves in strip clubs and being exposed to sexual content mm -hmm. and even people soliciting sexual, you know, activities so was, from yeah. these children. And it's becoming very worrying. So are there no like age restrictions on, on this or people bypass them or so, yeah. You, you know on the internet, if you're going to a certain website that is not required, that, like basically you have to be of a certain age restriction, mm -hmm. it's here notice. If you're not 18, yeah. you can't come in, you know. But hey, who's, who could tell that I'm 18 I'm or 18 not? or not, yeah. I mean, I'm just with my device coming in. I can say I'm 18, you can't prove it. I can lie about my age, you can't prove it. Yeah. The only limitation that can be put in place would be if parents put these restrictions on these devices uh, to prevent okay, these okay, children from okay. being able to make it to those, you know, platforms and strip clubs. All right. Uh, okay, so that's Metaverse. And now we're fighting malaria. Yes. How are we fighting malaria? With drones. Okay, Which tell me about it. Which is a good thing it. because mm -hmm. drones have been used for a lot of things like agriculture, like sending medicine to yeah. Ghana. Yeah. But in Zanzibar, they are piloting, pun intended, uh -huh. using <laughs> drones yeah. to battle malaria by mapping the area to mm -hmm. see where there are puddles of water because, you know, ma malaria is caused by the Anopheles mosquitoes yeah, which yeah. breed in still waters and the eggs before yeah. they hatch are discovered with drones I see. once they know where these puddles of water are they can attack them yeah kill the mosquitoes before they even become the larvae before they become mosquitoes yeah. before they come and bite us in the night and at and, dusk and okay give us malaria. i trust yeah. that our digital vice president will look into that so that yeah, we that, can so cool. yeah we can tackle malaria mr uh, digital vice president and uh we're going to Ukraine now. What's yes. happening there in the world well, of we tech? Know there's a whole lot of things yeah. happening in Ukraine, and they're not left out when it comes to tech attacks as well. Okay. Banking and military websites in Ukraine are being attacked on a large scale, like super large scale. And when we say a large scale, a distributor denial of service attack. What this is uh -huh. is when multiple visits. Imagine if you had 50 million people coming to your door yeah. at, one, at once, trying to come into your house. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to contain all of them. You can't even yeah. open the door, close it, yeah. you can't control anything. Yeah. The whole place will shut down. Yeah. That's what's happening. That's how these uh, websites are being attacked. They're sending lots of requests to websites. And there's also reports that there's a new malware called the Wiper. The Wiper. Also being sent to Ukraine to attack them. So, yeah. So, 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 so it's, it's, it's being sent to Ukraine as in like what? You said the banks? Banks uh -huh. and military, you know, websites. Websites, are okay. Being taken down. But luckily those two are recovering because they were seemingly prepared for such attacks. Uh -huh. You know, so there's always redundancies in place. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. And okay. that yeah. anytime you get these kinds of attacks, you can offload them somewhere and then restore your services as quickly. But it doesn't mean that they are, they have, you know, basically gotten rid Combated, of the, yeah. mm -hmm. the issue it's still happening and it's sort of a worry okay all right thank you very much a lot yeah, is happening in the world of tech uh, strip clubs <laughs> we're fighting malaria and I'm also ukraine. ukraine all right thank you very much thank for, for that uh we're going to take a quick breather up next is my favorite person with sports